okay now my my session is been recorded okay so what we do is you log into moodle moodle cc.vlt.ac.in and come and see this course and click turn editing on by taking making this you turn editing on that means the page will be in editable format okay so i maximize this screen okay so now first thing is add an activity please listen to this first later you can try because all of your teachers you can try uh, moodle mem simply type you go to the dashboard it will show you only two courses in one of the courses you are a teacher in other course you are a student so moodle course the name of the course is moodle course go to dashboard okay so now big blue button is an activity or a resource now we are going to create a virtual classroom session is an activity or a resource it's an activity that means you want your student is going to participate in an activity okay so click this link click this button here and click add so big blue button bn select this and add sir yeah please Uh, ma'am, have you gone to this page? Ah, uh, you are in the course page, yes, and make and make turn editing on. Fine. So now I need to create an activity. Suppose I want to conduct a class. I want to create an activity. Click add an activity. Select big blue button B L. Please remember. Please, uh, please see my uh, see the screen. There is an activity here. At the end, there is a resource also there. recordings bn what is recordings bn if anything is recorded you want to share with the students that's why recording so as of now nothing is recorded so no we are sharing anything so now we are going to record it now so click big blue button bn and add sir this big blue button uh, option is by default is available no i have made the connectivity so this big blue button will not be by default available in any module i made the connectivity with both the plugins Okay, so in case if you want to use it, I will do that also. No issues. Okay, now settings. Name of the virtual classroom name. Name of the virtual classroom name. So what I do is FIP. FIP 2017. But don't use the same name when you are doing. You try with some other some other name. So to uh, to make it myself, I use Pradeep Kumar. If more than one faculty member handle the session, you always prefer your name at the end. using brackets so that your student will know that okay i am coming for this session okay so it's that pradeep kumar and show more click show more here what is the description so discussion on fip at vit chennai for vit bopal faculty members simply something to be on the description what you are going to describe what is the agenda or what topics you are going to design everything you can write it here please see this here wait for moderator session can be recorded activate tagging interface wait for moderator means only after a faculty join the student can come in please remember wait for moderator means only after a faculty member join a student can come in said the classroom virtual classroom if you remove this option before you join the students will be there in the group already okay so by default we make it as wait for moderator if you want to disable it you can disable it no issues presentation content if you want to give the presentation content you can give it else leave it okay now participants by default all users enrolled so please uh, see once after that you can try i give you time okay so participants all users enrolled and suppose all users means all the users of this course will be enrolled as participant okay. who are there in the course it will be enrolled okay suppose i want to conduct a session for slow learners there are some five students slow learners i want to conduct so what i can do is click user right hand side you can get all the users i can select the five uh, slow learners for example 
so let's say I want to use VAT Bhopal 1, so let's say VAT Bhopal 9 add, then VAT Bhopal 8 add. So two students only I want to conduct a session. So only for these two students I can conduct a session. How can we multiple Add sir, every time you add it. If you fail all students, no need of adding, simply use all users enrolled. Fine. So No, it is not possible. Actually, 200, why you 200 is? I will make the grouping. Suppose there are four faculty members handling the same course, there will be a group available. Your group with your own students. So, the other group cannot see such an activity is going on. That way, we can do it here. I will show you. In real, I will show you. Okay. So, now, this is what the session here. Now, I delete it. Let us say all users enrolled. All users enrolled. So, all users enrolled add. That means all users enrolled as viewer. Moderator. You can see that again you can make it viewer or moderator. All users. By default, I make them as viewers. Let us be nobody will be the moderator. Let me all go with viewers. Okay. Schedule for session. On what day you are going to conduct a session? So, let us say today now, 19th June. Uh, now, the time is 4.16. So, 4.10 to 5 o'clock for example, 17, 10, 5, 10, 4, 10 to 5, 10, I am going to conduct a session. Then restrict access. So here there is no restriction as of now, it will show a restriction, no restrictions available. But in our course base we have group restriction, that means Pradeep Kumar with his own, his own students. I can create my own lecture here, only my students can see. Okay, like that, Pushpinder and his students, I cannot able to see. So, something like that we have restriction set, maybe I will show you in real. Okay, in this nothing, so after it is done, save and return to course. My job is done. So, you can come to the end of it, FIP 2017, Pradeep Kumar. Okay, now I click this. I think most of you will be in the same course only. This conference room is ready, you can join the session now, join. I am joining him. See, when the when the first time when I was giving, they was asking for username. Now no username will be asked because you are authenticated from Moodle. Moodle is already authenticating you, so it, it doesn't ask anything. So I want to use my microphone. So click microphone. Click yes. Hello. 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 I think my microphone is used somewhere. My microphone has already been used because I am recording this session. So it was using that. Else it will ask for my microphone. Okay. You will get a screen here, a blue color screen. You, you can all try this. Next. Hello. 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 I could not. Because my microphone is recording. So it is used by some other application. Okay. So now my engine is ready and VAVT Bobal 26 and 5 have joined. VAVT Bobal 26 and 5 they have joined. Okay, and I can share my video also. So, start sharing. I can share my video. So, via Moodle, I can able to create a virtual classroom session. And there is a button here recording. You can see that there is a button start recording. I am not doing it now because I am already recording one session here. It is barely going on, I am not doing it now. But if you want to enable start recording, it started recording. At the end of the session, you click again, stop recording. Your entire session will be recorded. Okay. So, you can conduct a session. So, totally there are five whites. If you want to conduct a white, white board. So, if you want to go with a white board, what I do is click this. So, I have a white board available. So, let us say I want to do something here. Uh, let us say. So, let us say I want to show them a block diagram like this. Hello. Uh, can everyone see in your screen? Huh? It should be. No, there are only four users. One, twenty-six, five, and seven. Only for them. You are seeing, no? Yeah. So that means 
my session is uh, going on now so i can record it i can record this session oh someone is talking so that means somebody is microphone is enabled yeah somebody is vat popal one who is that yeah so unmute you talk something sir hello ah see you talk sir hello see he is talking i am just listening now okay okay sir able to give but this one the screen is not moving ஹலோ system hai sir please sir okay you got it so i think some of you are listening my words you got it yes right so this way i can able to yes everyone are in the same room there is a uh, there's what is that resonance echo or resonance okay so whatever we call so this is how i can able to record my complete the virtual classroom session okay so every semester around 200 classes have been conducted virtually because we have five points for virtual classroom in the performance objective five points for virtual. so five points means five percent of salary so they conduct a virtual classroom session using the blue button and they do the session online for one hour or so whatever 50 minutes for 30 minutes or one hour ma'am no no i will upload the video on youtube the same video i am recording a video now. what do you do is today i will upload yeah i have a great youtube channel with me 500 subscribers already so i will give the youtube channel to so you can listen to this anyway i close this okay so that means we can able to have a virtual classroom session so i am ending the session now okay so done so this is my virtual classroom session okay any queries actually what you yes. no you cannot in that case you have to share the recording they can come and see the recording at a later time okay so now what i do is